Such innovative approaches have put Tennessee at the forefront of higher education, with other states now replicating the governor's groundbreaking programs. In fact, it's partly because of that, that great things happening in Tennessee higher education that led me and my family, my wife and kids are here today as well too, uh, to move down here from Illinois almost a year ago. Governor Haslam, on behalf of Walter State faculty, staff, and students, thank you for what you have done to increase access and eliminate barriers to higher education for our citizens. Please join me in welcoming Governor Haslam. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Alan, I don't really need to give a talk. You just got it. If you're wondering why we're doing this, look at Alan. Okay, when we announced the drive to 55, we didn't just make that number up out of thin air. We did it because in 2025, of all the jobs that will exist, 55% will require a degree or certificate. Okay, at the time, we were sitting at about 32% of our population. So you don't have to be a math whiz to realize we've got a big disconnect here. There are going to be a lot of people that can't find work and a lot of jobs that can't find workers. And that felt like a, a really bad uh, uh, ending that we were setting ourselves up for. So uh, that's when working with legislators, and I do want to thank again uh, all these folks who are, who are here with us today, uh, we came up with a Tennessee promise. And it was this radical idea, what if we made it free? Would we get people's attention and would more people go to school? And so for the first time, we had a lot of families in Tennessee who had never thought about going to school past high school that said, maybe I can do that. And we're seeing that. Tennessee now leads the nation in students who intend to go on beyond high school uh, in higher education. And the best way to know that intent is when they fill out their financial aid form. And once said, we've led the nation for the last two years. When we launched Tennessee Promise, a lot of legislators came up and said, well, that sounds like a great idea, but what about um, so-and-so who's in my district or my constituent who really would love to go back and get more training, uh, but uh, she can't figure out how to do that. She's a single mother of uh, two kids. She's 40. She's spending all her time either going to school um, or raising kids and certainly can't afford to take more money to go back to school. Or the guy that I know who feels like he's stuck in his job, what can we do for him? And so we kind of took two years to see how Tennessee Promise went. We're finishing our first Tennessee Promise graduates walked across the stage here in the last two weeks, which, was, which has been incredibly exciting. And we said, let's, let's now bump that out and say, what if we said for every Tennessean, regardless of your educational background, regardless of your age, if you, were, if you had graduated from high school, and you didn't already have a degree, what if we said for every Tennessean, we will make it free for you to get a degree or certificate? And that's what Tennessee Reconnect is all about. We're doing that for two things. Number one, it provides people like Alan more opportunity. And then number two, uh, it helps us reach that much needed goal of getting to 55%. Today in Tennessee, there are 900,000 adults with some college credit but not a degree. Just in Hamlin County, I'm not counting Green um, or, uh, or Hancock or Hawk, anything else, uh, anything else, but just in Hamlin, there's 6,000 adults with some degree, with some credit, but not a degree. And so the idea is, can we reach out to these folks and help, help them attain that? You might think, well, Alan said he's already on Reconnect. You're signing this bill today. What, what's, up? what's up? Well, Alan is actually part of a group that was a pilot program. We, we put, uh, again, the legislature put some money in the budget um, last year for folks like Alan to start saying, is there a market? Are there people that will be interested? And the answer, as you just heard from Alan, and I can point you to thousands of others, is yes. So this is a really big deal. I'll, I'll close with this. Um, I spent a lot of time in this job recruiting uh, business. It's one of the main things we did. We were able to celebrate a, uh, a, a, an announcement here in Hamlin County four weeks ago. Is that when we were up here? Right, three or four weeks ago, which is great news. And um, you, you've obviously got a great history as, as Leader Norris said of manufacturing and other job growth. Uh, but more and more, every conversation I have, and I had one yesterday with a company that's looking uh, in this part of eastern Tennessee, somewhere between here and the in the, the top uh, top part of the state, and the question, or the conversation begins and ends with, "Can you train our workforce?" And the great thing about our community colleges, our TCATs, is they're now becoming so flexible and nimble. If you want us to design something for your company, we can do that. And so I could look 
uh, across the aisle at this gentleman and say, I, I promise you, we'll, we'll help you design training programs and we'll help prepare uh, the workforce and I know that the, bot, the people will be there because it's free. And I learned something a long time ago in business. If you make it free, it gets people's attention. <laughs> uh, and that rule will never change. So we're, we're thrilled to be here. I think we're going to walk over here and sign this. But I, I do want to thank you, too. And thank you, uh, uh, Walter State, for hosting us. Uh, it is it, what you're doing here and the way you've tied into the business community is, is what I can say to, to everyone. I guarantee you this program is going to work for all of us. So. Thank you all very much. We really appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming by.